Yep. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the morning's newspapers. And of course, we've got again Emma Wolf and Pete Price, who are here with us. Pete, yes, loving the shirt. Thanks again for joining us. Emma, next time you've got to change that scarf at least. All right, let's start with the Daily Express. Uh, the front page of the Express there, again, a picture of, of Prince Louis uh, on the beach. But uh, the main headline holiday chaos for a year. Tell us uh, what's all that about, please, Emma. Yeah, not good news, I'm afraid. We heard lots about the chaos over Easter and, the, you know, the, the, the backlogs and the people queuing up, miles and miles and miles of traffic. And now we hear this tra travel chaos could last for another 12 months. We've got travel hell for holidaymakers with overseas flights very badly disrupted. Um, obviously, after COVID, there's been a, a real pent-up demand for people to get aboard and to actually be able to get on planes. But with COVID sicknesses, staff absence, and a real delay in recruiting new staff members for airports, um, industry experts are saying there's going to be really major travel chaos, um, yeah, as I say, for the next 12 months. Yeah, and Pete, what do you think about that? I mean, we've, we've saw there was travel chaos over Easter. Do you think it, this could actually end up putting people off trying to get away? Not at all, because the second story is about Portugal fast-tracking as rather and defying Brexit. i just come back, just come back, exclusively on Sky, I've just come back from Portugal, and I can say we sailed through. We left on Liverpool Airport, that was incredible, no problems there. Came back to Manchester Airport, no problems there. I wonder if some of these stories are scurrilous and a little bit irritating. I mean, they were marvellous to Portugal. They just passed us through and they treated us really well. Many, many English people go to Portugal and, and I think it's trying to put people off and I don't know why. Maybe it's trying to put them off so they spend the money in this country. When I've been abroad now three times and it's been fabulous and I've not had one single problem. The paperwork was a pain, but now that's stopped. I think it's great. So congratulations to Manchester and Liverpool Airport. And by the way, I said I was going to be slaughtered on Twitter. I have been, and I will be for saying that as well. Oh dear. Well, Pete Price got through. You can too, people. So uh, take your trips. All right, let's move on to uh, the inside pages of the mail. Uh, this is one for you, Emma. Hard up families cut back on food and trips. People struggling to feed themselves, heat their homes, having to cut back on many of the things that we take for granted, I guess. Yeah, for some reason I'm getting all the bad news stories. Um, this is struggling households basically cutting down on food, on fuel, on big ticket items like um, furniture and kitchen appliances, that kind of thing. So the latest economic figures are showing that retail is down, food sales are down, fuel sales are down. So clearly Rishi Sunak's um, fuel duty cuts has done very little to ease the cost of living crisis for people. And of course we have another energy price hike coming in October, which is going to send energy fuel, you know, fuel bills absolutely skyrocketing. So experts are, are really quite unanimous on this, that um, prices are going up and consumer confidence is at an all-time low. Yeah, let's just stick with you, Emma, then, because you did say you've had uh, some of the bad news stories. Uh, this is not necessarily a bad news story that you've picked out in the Daily Express. Uh, sure signs that you love thy neighbour is the, the headline. Uh, tell us what this is about. This is page 34 of the Express this morning. Yes, this is a lovely one to end on. Um, being a good neighbour apparently involves things like taking in the bins, accepting deliveries for your neighbours, uh, keeping an eye on their property, watering their plants, um, uh, letting them know if you're going to have a noisy party, that kind of thing. And, Kamali, 77% of us believe that our street has good neighbours, but 92% of us believe that we're really great people to live next door to. <laughs> I mean, I'm a great neighbour. My music is very low and the bass is turned right down. P, what do you like as a neighbour? I bet your neighbours love you, huh? No, I'm actually a very good neighbour. I've worked nightclubs all my life and uh, late night radio all my life and I come in, I'm the quietest neighbour ever. I think one of the good things, the only good thing that came out of the pandemic is we got to know our neighbours and it gave us a really good feel-good factor. And I've got some lovely neighbours, but I'm a good neighbour and I help everybody. So there. I, bet I never disputed it for a moment, Peter. All right, guys, thank you very much. Uh, you can always, of course... Oh, we've got more time, I'm being told. So we have more time for another story. And let's go to uh, the star. Emma, this is another one of your stories. This is all about Builders Tea. Let's bring up the headline there for our viewers so we can take a look at it. It's a shocker. Yeah. So, are, you, are you prepared to be shocked? It's over. Go on, Emma. What's this about? All right, so shocker. Um, apparently, builders, when they're working in people's home, they're not asking for tea anymore. They're asking for coffee. 
So the whole thing about having a brew, you know, builder's tea, all of that is is on the, is is going out. Basically, um, even up to two percent of builders are actually asking for herbal tea as well, or lemon tea, or fruit tea. So I think it's absolutely shocking. But yeah, tea is less popular than coffee. People prefer a coffee. But the good news is that chocolate digestives are still the number one biscuit that builders like to have with their coffee. I mean, the last work person who was in my house, I did offer a tea and they asked for coffee as well. Pete, quickly, from you, what do you offer, tea or coffee? Cold drink. I had electricity yesterday. Cold drink. Oh, Didn't cold drink. Or, or maybe drink. something from the bar. Thank you, Pete and Emma. Thank you so much. All right. Plenty more to come on Sky News Breakfast. Stay with us.